Janitor AI tutorial and review. Is it the best role-playing AI tool? Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys step-by-step -step on how you can get started with Janitor AI. So what exactly is this platform? Well, this is an immersive storytelling platform which allows you to be anything you want. If you are someone that is looking to immerse themselves and you want to have conversations with a specific character that you want to tailor to your personal liking, you can do that with Janitor AI. You guys can see that this platform has several different pre-built characters that other people are using and chatting with. However, you can register to create your own as well. And the best part is, is that Janitor AI is free if they're using their LLM model. However, if you want some upgraded models, then you do have to upgrade as well. So let's get started. To get started, simply click on register over here. Once you click on register, you're simply going to proceed with your registration. You're going to confirm your age and you can log in with Google, your email, Twitter, or Discord. This is up to your personal preference on how you want to get started with your sign up. I'm just signing up with Google for a quick and easy sign up and I'm just going to be selecting my Google account from here so that I can proceed with my sign up. Once I have done that, I'm just going to continue on over here. And once I continue on, my account will be created. Now, once your account has been created, you're just going to wait a couple of seconds and we're just going to go on ahead and then proceed. So you guys can see we have our account information, our main persona. So we're just going to add our name over here. This is not necessary to add as your actual name. I'm going to be choosing my username. Now this is permanent, so it cannot be changed. And then I can proceed with my appearance and then click on save changes. Below that, you have your custom CSS slash profile styles and your notification settings. Now I'm going to click on create a character on the top right. Once you do that, you can proceed with creating your character. So you can select an image as a bot avatar or you can also import them. You can click on search for existing character to search for existing characters as well. Now if you update the image on a public character, it can take up to 30 seconds to verify your image. And you guys can see these are all the different images that were already added for characters. I'm just going to be selecting a image that I've previously generated for my character image. So I'm just going to be using another AI generated image. I do want to be using one of these like so. Then I am going to add the name of my character. Let's say this is going to be called Sophia. And then after that, we have our chat name. And then after that, we have the character bio. Now this is going to be displayed in your character card and influence search. And this is going to be a soft girl. And then your character tags. Now you can add the information about the characters. There are several different popular bios or keywords that often being associated with these characters. We have male, dominant, female, fictional, game, submissive, non-human. You have quite a few different options. So honestly, you can find anything you want over here. Let's say that this character is a it's just a female character for chatting and you can add the magic mania music mania tag to enable soundcloud integrations now you have your content rating if you want it to be limited or limitless then after that you're going to define your character this is the really important part of character building so over here you're actually going to be describing what type of character this is going to be and the way that they will interact with other people this is single woman in her 20s she is flirty and exciting she is witty and always keeps you on edge she always responds in a positive way and i can further specify what this character should and should not do let's say you're building a character that is meant to be super strong so if you want that character not to display any sadness or any emotions of being disappointed you can add that as well they're just going to describe it further then you can outline the context and setting for your character's conversations so she is trying to get the other person to fall in love with her and then we have the initial message so you can make it engaging for longer interactions hi you're the best person i've seen so far and then we have example dialogues now this is recommended that you should be providing some example conversations to guide your character's responses after that you're going to click on create character 
and your character has been created successfully. Now on the top right, you have the ability to make this public. You can show the definition and also allow proxies. Below that, you have your scenarios, your personality, first message, example dialogues. And now you can start, you will see comments as well. Now you can click on chat with Sophie to chat with the character that you just created. Hi. So I'm going to start chatting with her. Hi. And let's take a look at the reply of Sophie. And obviously when your model is not very well trained, it's going to take a little longer to respond. I must say you've got the kind of charm that can make a girl weak on her knees. I'm Sophie, by the way. A friend of mine dragged me to this little shindig. But I'm starting to think that fate had a hand in this because running into you is some into a handsome devil like you, that's no coincidence. Tell me, do you have this effect on the ladies or am I just lucky I have to confess? Confess I'm feeling a little intrigued and maybe, maybe I'd like to know you better. What do you say, handsome? Here to find a quiet corner with me and let me turn on my famous Sophie charm. So you guys can see it's a very flirtatious character just as we have created. So in this way, you can also create your characters. Now, this platform is popular for its flirtatious characters. They also do have some non-flirtatious characters. So they do have political characters, philosophy characters. Most characters are built a bit different. But if we take a look at hidden gems, let's say, or if I go into a certain categories and I want platonic characters, you will see there are several platonic characters as well. And let's say I want to be chatting with this one over here. And you guys will see the information. So this is the opening message and jailbreak, so on and so forth. So you can chat with any of the other characters if you're just looking to chat around and you can even build your own customized character so that it best fits you and your needs. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using this amazing character building AI. It's truly a unique tool that is crossing a lot of the limits that you find on other platforms and it's a completely free to use tool. So if even if you just need a personal AI assistant, building a character over here can make it really effective for you to have something that can keep track of things and keep everything orderly the way you like it so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful if you found them helpful make sure to share them with someone you might think that may need these share them with your friends with your family with your cousins and share them with any business partners that you might have and it might help you guys a lot to know all of these techniques and to follow along and make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel and to check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video